Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another quick Python tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to use Python to get the duration of a video in our file system. So, the reason I wanted to do this is I wanted to go ahead and go through a few of my videos and see how long they were and kind of add them up. Um, so these are some videos that I've posted on the channel and uh, I don't know, I thought it would be neat to kind of do it with Python, right? Rather than opening it up and uh, you know writing it down and then adding all of the times up and I want to know if that was possible and of course it is so let's create a new Python file and we'll call it uh, video even though that's the project name I don't think that'll okay and we need to import a package so let's go to the project interpreter I always forget where it's at it's not an editor uh, it's under project yep yeah. um, and it's called MoviePy. So let's go ahead and install that package. And once that's installed, we can import it into our Python file. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Got my coffee here. Hope you guys do too. Coffee is... It's like the, uh, the heroine of, of programming world. I don't know what heroine is to any other world, but... <laughs> uh, there we go. Now we got MoviePy in our interpreter. Um, there she is. So let's go ahead and let's do from MoviePy dot editor import video capital V video file clip, and we're just going to make an object um, and. I'm going to set it equal to this this variable that we created video. We're going to set it equal to video file clip, and we just pass the path of our video. So if I wanted to do this one, I'd highlight it like this in my in my file system here, um, file explorer, and I would hit copy path, and that'll go ahead and copy the path of this video. And you can see we get an error. If we hover over it, we will get this invalid escape sequence a few times every time there's this uh, this backslash so let's go ahead and fix that by just preceding our string with an R and that just tells Python to go ahead and ignore uh, these escape sequences is actually just a regular backslash to denote a path um, and now if we want we can print video dot duration so let's see if this even works I'd be surprised if it did it did. Okay, so we got six, six, four. Um, so you can see it's actually in seconds. Uh, so if we wanted to divide it by 60 to get it into minutes, let's go ahead and do that. So it's 11 minutes and seven seconds. So let's see if that's correct. Let's go ahead and open this. 11 minutes and three seconds. Uh, well, four, I guess. So I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, but it's close enough in my opinion. <laughs> so that is a good way to see how uh, long a, a video is in Python and then you can go ahead and do this with multiple files uh, in a particular folder if you want to and uh, now you know how to go ahead and do that. Hope you found this useful uh, if you have a particular case for to use this but anyway I'll see you guys in the next video.